welcome back to another Push for Miles video. I am Push for Miles. I do like many miles. And today we have an awesome clip from a live stream we did a few nights ago with my friend Garrett all out of Amazon. He does over 100K in revenue per month in his Amazon FBA business. And he only started around a year, year and a half ago. So it's pretty cool stuff. He's going to be breaking down and reading a Keepa chart of a seasonal Halloween product. Going through the Keepa chart. For those of you who don't know, Keepa is an advanced product research tool that is only 15 bucks a month and provides a ton more advanced data so you can really source more efficiently. And I hope you'll enjoy the breakdown from him. Make sure to subscribe below and let's get into it. Okay, cool. So obviously it doesn't take a rocket. This is a Halloween item. And when we're talking about sourcing in advance, this is how we would do it, right? So we know sales rank is a, is a point in time metric, just as the current buy box price. Those are point in time metrics, but they don't really do us any good because so say we're in July right now, if we're looking a week ago, Right, we would see a sales rank of eighty thousand and the price at, at twenty two or whatever the case may be. When we're looking at the product here, we'd say, okay, well, you know, that's not that great. Like, whatever, we'll skip. But we know because we're smart Amazon business owners, we need to look at the historical data at what it's did last couple of seasons to really get a sense of what that product is going to do to then forecast it for what it's going to do this season. Right. So Keepa gives us all that information. Right. So for this particular product, last Halloween it dropped down to 2000 and the price was up at 30, right? So that's one indicator that the velocity is going to increase and the price is going to increase. But let's go back even further, right? We use another Halloween as an example, right? Sales rank dropped to 1300, same, same around, around the same area, 2000, 1300, whatever, price is up at 30. So now we have two past historical seasons where this product has dropped in, in, in sales rank and increased in price. And we leverage that sort of information to then forecast what it's going to do this Halloween, right? It's not October yet. We don't actually know. We can't see what it's going to be, but we leverage this sort of information to forecast and to predict and to purchase in advance. So like we were just talking about, we can have our products in long before the actual drop happens. So we're prepared. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. That was a great explanation. I mean, this is like, straight out of a course right now. <laughs> I, actually, I actually pulled another one that I use. So right, this one's not going to be as apparent because it's less macro, right? It's only 317 days, but we can still see the same sort of situation happen, right? So we're in July, or I guess we're up here, but say if we were looking a month ago or a week ago, or whatever, the sales ranks at 12 or 1.2 million, right? We don't want any part of that, but we can look in the Keepa and see, okay, well, last October, the sales rank dropped to, you know, tens of thousands, right? That's really good. And the, the buy box obviously increased at 27, right? So that's just another example of using the past data, using historical information to then leverage that and, and make educated guesses of what those products will do moving forward and, and, and try and make some money this season. That was an awesome video. Don't you think that was an awesome breakdown from Garrett? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching. That was an awesome breakdown by Garrett. We'll have some more in-depth videos coming on Keep Us Soon. As well as if you're interested in maybe, you know, proposing a video for a live breakdown like that or something like that, we'll go on live stream pretty much every single weekday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. So feel free to drop into that. We would love to have you. It's a lot of fun. And I appreciate all of you that have been tuning into those. It's been a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe below. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for supporting my journey on YouTube.